This is the Veriscan LT Endoscope Leak Detection System by Metavators, a MinTech Corporation business group. Metavators provides workflow solutions in endoscopy from bedside through reprocessing. Your Metavators sales consultant, clinical support specialist, and field service engineer may be contacted by calling 1 800 444 4729 or by visiting our website at www.mintech.com slash metavators. Metavators professionals are available to provide in-service and training on all of Metavators products. This in-service video supplements but does not replace the information provided in the Veriscan user manual, which you received with your Veriscan LT endoscope leak detection system. This instructional video is divided into 11 sections for easy review. Section 1, System Introduction, details the capabilities and benefits of the Veriscan system. Section 2, System Components. This section will familiarize you with the components supplied with Veriscan. Section 3, Installation and Setup, reviews the installation and setup of the Veriscan system. Section 4, Daily Startup, demonstrates proper system operation prior to the first use of the day by performing the daily quality assurance test. Section 5, Performing an Endoscope Leak Test. This section demonstrates operation of an endoscope leak test using Veriscan. Section 6, Testing a Failed Endoscope, shows how to test an endoscope that fails the Veriscan leak test. Section 7, Performing an Endoscope Screening Test, demonstrates how to properly screen an endoscope using Veriscan. Section 8, Desiccant Drying Crystals. This section demonstrates monitoring, loading, and replacing the drying crystals. Section 9, Data Access and Management, demonstrates how to transfer completed Veriscan leak tests to a computer for post-test analysis and reporting. Section 10, Menu Functions, details additional system capabilities available through the menu touchpad. Section 11, Maintenance and Questions, reviews Veriscan maintenance and who to call for your Veriscan needs. Section 1, System Introduction. Veriscan LT is an automated endoscope leak detection system designed to detect damage causing leaks in flexible immersible endoscopes. Veriscan uses innovative dry endoscope leak testing technology which eliminates the need to immerse an endoscope in a water-filled sink to find a leak. Veriscan automatically detects leaks through a process of pressurizing an endoscope, monitoring the internal pressure decay over time, and electronically identifying if an endoscope leak is present. Veriscan is designed to meet customer needs by providing the following benefits. Lowers cross-contamination risk due to undetected leaks by using highly sensitive and extremely accurate leak sensing technology. Minimizes endoscope repair costs through early detection of leaks and standardizes endoscope leak testing protocols, which drives compliance. Veriscan is fully compatible with manufacturers' flexible immersible endoscopes, including Olympus, Pentax, Fujinon, and Stores. Always follow the endoscope manufacturer's instructions and established professional guidelines to properly leak test and clean an endoscope. An effective endoscope leak test and pre-cleaning process is an essential step prior to endoscope disinfection and Veriscan is used to complete the leak test phase. Endoscopes should always be dry leak tested before submersion in fluid to prevent bacteria invasion and subsequent internal endoscope contamination. Veriscan's dry leak test method detects endoscope leaks within the interior and exterior of an endoscope. If an endoscope leak is detected, the endoscope should be immediately taken out of service and sent in for repair. Section 2, System Components. Veriscan is supplied with the following components. Veriscan LT base unit, Veriscan user manual, Veriscan quick start guide, Veriscan in-service documents, Veriscan power cord, crystal desiccant bag, silicone oil, Pro-V LT database management package, which includes the Pro-V LT user manual and the database software CD. 
endoscope-specific installation kit, consisting of one Pentax, Fujinon, Olympus, or Storrs endoscope quick-connect tubing, a crystal desiccant bag, USB cable, and five rolls of printer paper. Veriscan is an endoscope leak tester that can be used with Olympus, Pentax, Fujinon, and Storrs flexible immersible endoscopes. While Veriscan is initially supplied with one manufacturer's specific endoscope quick connect tubing, it is recommended that you always have a spare or backup tubing available. Additionally, if your facility has endoscopes from different manufacturers, then additional quick connect tubings will be required. Veriscan's endoscope quick connect tubings are not autoclavable and can only be reprocessed using low temperature decontamination methods. If any of the components are missing, or to order additional supplies, contact Medivator's customer support at 1-800-444-4729 or your authorized distributor. The Veriscan base unit has the following features. Display screen shows important test information and test results. Control keypad. Touch pads used to operate Veriscan including Start Touchpad, used to begin an endoscope leak test, Continue Touchpad, used to acknowledge a step in the leak test process, Print Touchpad, used to receive a printout summarizing the leak test results, Cancel Touchpad, used to return or back out of a step, Constant Air Touchpad, used to provide continuous airflow to an endoscope, Menu touchpad, used to provide access to additional Veriscan features or subroutines. Numeric touchpad, used to enter specific data, including endoscope serial number, operator ID, or patient ID information. Up and down arrow touchpad, used to step through Veriscan menu subroutines. Printer, provides printout documenting endoscope leak test results. Quick Connect Port. It is located on Veriscan's side panel and is used for attaching the Quick Connect tubing. The other end of the Quick Connect tubing attaches to the endoscope's leak connector. Power Cord Receptacle. Located on Veriscan's back panel, this is used for attaching the power cord to the AC wall outlet. Power On Off Switch. It is located on the back of the Veriscan unit and is used to turn the device on or off. USB port. Veriscan's rear panel data port for attaching the USB cable. The other end of the USB cable attaches to a separate computer supplied by the facility for the Pro-VLT database management software. RS-232 port. Located on rear panel and unused at this time. Drying Crystals Bulb Assembly Receptacle for holding the Veriscan desiccant crystals which remove humidity from the incoming air used during the endoscope leak test. A more in-depth demonstration of the desiccant crystals will be presented further on in this video. Coalescent Filter and Housing Combination Oil and Particle Filter for filtering incoming air used during the endoscope leak test. Section 3 Installation and Setup Veriscan Installation Position Veriscan on a flat, level surface within 6 feet 2 meters of an electrical AC wall outlet. Attach Veriscan's power cord into the power cord receptacle located on Veriscan's rear panel and plug the remaining end into a standard 110 volt electrical wall outlet that includes an approved ground fault interrupter or GFI, prior to operation. Press the power switch located on the back of the unit to turn the system power on. Once Veriscan is turned on, it will automatically perform an initialization process which includes a series of diagnostic self-tests. When this process is successfully completed, the display will show the current date and time, connect scope, and press start, which indicates that it's ready for use. Veriscan Setup, Date and Time Verify the display date and time settings are correct. If they need to be set, then press the Menu touchpad 
and using the arrow keys, scroll to the Set Date Time option. Press Continue and use the appropriate numeric touchpads to enter the correct date and time information. Note, time is displayed in a 24-hour format. Endoscope serial number and optional operator ID and patient ID. Effective data management begins with the operator entering identifying data at the beginning of a leak test, which includes the endoscope's serial number and can also include the operator ID and patient ID numbers. While an endoscope serial number must always be entered at the beginning of a leak test, the user must activate the operator ID and patient ID prompts in advance if this data is to be collected during the leak test. To activate the operator ID and patient ID prompts, follow these simple steps. Operator ID prompt activation. Press the menu touchpad. Use the down arrow to scroll to Set Test Parameters and press Continue. To enable the Operator ID function, use the down arrow to scroll to Use Operator ID and press Continue. Use the down arrow to scroll to Yes and press Continue. Press the Cancel button until the Connect Scope language is displayed on the screen. The Operator ID prompt is now activated and will be displayed during a leak test. Patient ID prompt activation. Press the menu touchpad. Use the down arrow to scroll to Set Test Parameters and press Continue. To enable the Patient ID function, use the down arrow to scroll to Use Patient ID and press Continue. Use the down arrow to scroll to Yes and press Continue. Press the Cancel button until the Connect Scope language is displayed on the screen. The patient ID prompt is now activated and will be displayed during a leak test. Printer paper. Verify a roll of printer paper is loaded into the printer compartment. The printer will automatically detect when the paper roll is empty and identify this by flashing a small LED on the front of the printer. If it is necessary to advance the paper forward, press the paper feed button VV located on the printer front. Loading or replacing printer paper. To load or replace the printer paper, pull the lever on the front of the printer paper access door upwards until the lid is released from its locked position. To avoid damage, do not use excessive force. With the printer access door open, remove the empty paper spool and discard. Locate a new paper roll and reel off approximately one half inch of paper. Place the new paper roll in the printer paper compartment with the leading edge of the paper coming off the top of the paper roll. Close the printer paper access door by applying a small amount of pressure onto the front of the door, ensuring that the lid clicks into the locked position. Tear the excess paper off by pulling up against the serrated edge. Desiccant drying crystals. Monitor the condition of the drying crystals on a routine monthly basis. Replace as needed as determined by comparing the crystals to the desiccant drying crystals color comparison chart. The crystals are blue and white in color in their active state. The drying crystals color changes as they absorb moisture. Once they're saturated, they will turn a pale pink color, which indicates they need to be replaced. If the drying crystals need to be replaced, then review the section titled Desiccant Drying Crystals, Monitoring, Loading, and Replacing. Attaching the Quick Connect Tubing The Veriscan system uses Quick Connect tubings to attach to Olympus, Pentax, Stores, and Fujinon flexible immersible endoscopes. Inspect the Quick Connect tubings often and replace if damaged or any indication of wear. A faulty quick connect tubing can result in a false endoscope leak, which will be identified as a fail condition during a leak test. 
Lightly lubricate the quick connect tubing O-ring located in the endoscope connector end using silicone oil. Lubricate weakly to ensure a secure connection. Failure to lubricate the O-ring can result in a false endoscope leak, which will be identified as a fail condition during a leak test. Verify the endoscope brand labeled on the quick connect tubing matches the specific endoscope being leak tested. Insert the quick connect tubing metal prong into the quick connect port located on the side of the Veriscan unit and apply inward pressure until it clicks into place. To remove the tubing, pull outward on the Veriscan quick connect port's outer metal housing until the quick connect tubing is released. If replacement or additional quick connect tubings are needed, contact Medivator's customer support at 1 800 444 4729 or your authorized distributor. Section 4 Daily Startup To verify Veriscan is operating properly, the daily quality assurance test must be performed prior to the first use of the day. This test ensures the internal integrity of the Veriscan unit and its ability to properly sense an endoscope leak. Perform the Veriscan daily quality assurance test by pressing the power switch located on the back of the Veriscan unit to turn the system power on. Veriscan will automatically perform an initialization process which includes a series of diagnostic self-tests. When this process is successfully completed, the display will show the current date and time, connect scope, and press start, which indicates that it's ready for use. Disconnect the Quick Connect tubing from the Veriscan Quick Connect port. No tubing can be attached to Veriscan when performing the daily quality assurance test. To remove the tubing, pull outward on the Veriscan Quick Connect port's outer metal housing until the Quick Connect tubing is released. Press the Start touchpad to begin the quality assurance test. If the optional Operator ID or Patient ID prompts display, then press Continue. No information needs to be entered at this time. The Enderscope serial number prompt will now display. Since no endoscope is connected, press Continue. The leak test will now automatically begin, and the following information will be displayed. Leak test. Please stand by. Note, the sound of the air pump cycling on and off will be heard during the course of the leak test. After a preset period of time, an audible tone will sound and the screen information will display Leak Test, Operate Knobs and Buttons, and Continue to Acknowledge. Press the Continue touchpad and the leak test will automatically resume. At the completion of the test, an audible tone is heard and the Veriscan screen displays the pass or fail test result. If a pass result is displayed, then press the print touchpad and the leak test information will print. Veriscan has now passed the daily quality assurance test and is ready for endoscope use. If a fail result is displayed, then the daily quality assurance test has failed. Do not use Veriscan and contact Medivator's customer support at 1-800-444-4729 or your authorized Medivator's distributor for further assistance. Record the daily quality assurance pass or fail test result using the daily quality assurance log. Failure to perform the daily quality assurance test can result in the device not accurately detecting an endoscope leak. Never use Veriscan if the daily quality assurance test was not successfully performed and a pass result received. Section 5. Performing an Endoscope Leak Test Preparing the Endoscope Check and attach the endoscope cleaning cap and ensure it is securely in place over the endoscope's ETO connector. A faulty cleaning cap or O-ring seal on the endoscope will be detected as an endoscope leak by Veriscan. Select the appropriate Quick Connect tubing for the endoscope brand being tested. Connect the Quick Connect tubing to Veriscan's Quick Connect port. Connect the remaining end of the Quick Connect tubing to the endoscope's cleaning cap leak test fitting. 
align the pin in the connector with the cap, and then push the connector over the fitting. Rotate the connector until it is fully tightened onto the endoscope. If the connector rotates with difficulty, then the O-ring may need to be lubricated with endoscope oil. Verify the quick connect tubing connecting the endoscope to the Veriscan system is not twisted. Performing the leak test. Veriscan performs a dry endoscope leak test. Do not place or immerse the endoscope in any type of fluid while performing the leak test. The heat of an endoscope can affect leak test measurement accuracy through the expansion of the soft components of the endoscope. Leak test accuracy is maximized by identifying if the endoscope was used in a patient procedure within the last 30 minutes. If the endoscope was not used within the last 30 minutes, then the screening test mode should be used. Go to the section labeled Performing a Screening Test for further instructions. If the endoscope was used within the last 30 minutes, then press Start on the Veriscan keypad to begin the leak test using the factory default standard test mode. If the optional operator ID prompt is activated, the following information will display. Leak test start, enter operator ID, and press continue. Enter operator ID number, maximum four digits, using the numeric touchpads, and then press continue. If the optional patient ID prompt is activated, the following information will display. Leak test start, enter patient ID, and press continue. Enter patient ID number, maximum 10 digits, using the numeric touchpads, and then press continue. The enter scope serial number prompt will now display leak test start, enter scope serial number, and press continue. Enter the last three digits of the endoscope's ID or serial number using the numeric touchpads, and then press continue. A maximum of 10 digits can be entered. The leak test will now automatically begin and the following information will be displayed. Leak test. Please stand by. Note, the sound of the air pump cycling on and off will be heard during the course of the leak test. After a preset period of time, an audible tone will sound and Veriscan will display leak test, operate knobs and buttons, continue to acknowledge, which prompts the operator to turn all of the endoscope's angulation knobs and to press all of the camera buttons. These areas of an endoscope are common fluid invasion problem spots, which can only be accurately leak tested when all of the endoscope's knobs and buttons are exercised. Turn all endoscope angulation knobs and press all camera buttons and then press continue. When the endoscope leak test completes, an audible tone is heard and the Veriscan screen displays the pass or fail test result. If a pass result is displayed, then press print to print the results or continue to start a new endoscope leak test. Tear the printout off by pulling up against the serrated edge. Disconnect the quick connect tubing from the endoscope. The endoscope is now ready for the next step in the manual cleaning process. If a fail result is displayed, then go to the section titled Testing a Failed Endoscope. Section 6. Testing a Failed Endoscope. The majority of fail leak test results are due to true endoscope leaks. On occasion, a fail test result can be traced to other preventable and correctable issues, such as quick connect tubing. If the Veriscan's quick connect tubing is damaged due to a small hole or worn due to an O-ring leak, a false fail leak test result can occur. Always have a spare quick connect tubing available to troubleshoot for a tubing leak. Nicks in the endoscope cleaning cap gasket. If the rubber seal or gasket on the inside of the endoscope cleaning cap is damaged, a false fail leak test result can occur. 
If the rubber sealing area is not in perfect condition, replace the endoscope cleaning cap with a new one. ETO valve is loose on the endoscope cleaning cap. If the ETO valve on the endoscope cleaning cap is loose, air can escape and cause a false fail leak test result. If the ETO valve is loose, replace the endoscope cleaning cap with a new one. The screening test is used to test a warm, unstable temperature endoscope. A false fail leak test result can occur if the screening test was used to leak test an endoscope which was patient used within the previous 30 minutes. The screening test should only be used on stable temperature endoscopes which have not been used within the last 30 minutes. Allow an endoscope to cool beyond 30 minutes if the screening test is to be used. Retesting a failed endoscope. In the event of a failed test result, the endoscope leak test should be rerun as follows. Remove the quick connect tubing from the endoscope's cleaning cap and Inspect the tubing for wear, damage, or holes. Inspect the O-ring for rips or tears. Inspect the O-ring for sufficient lubrication. The O-ring can tear if dry. Lubricate if needed. Replace the quick connect tubing if worn or damaged. Remove the cleaning cap from the endoscope. Inspect the cleaning cap for wear or damage. Inspect the cleaning cap O-ring for rips or tears. Inspect the cleaning cap O-ring for sufficient lubrication. The O-ring can tear if dry. Lubricate if needed. Inspect the cleaning cap ETO valve for damage or signs of being loose. Replace the endoscope cleaning cap if worn or damaged. Retest the endoscope. Reattach the endoscope cleaning cap and Veriscan Quick Connect Tubing. Press Continue to remove the failed endoscope message and ready Veriscan for the next test. Initiate a new endoscope leak test by pressing Start, entering the last three digits of the endoscope serial number, followed by Continue. When the audible tone is heard, turn all endoscope angulation knobs and press all camera buttons, followed by continue. When the endoscope leak test completes, an audible tone is heard and the Veriscan screen displays the pass or fail test result. If the endoscope passes the retest, then a pass result is displayed. Press print to print the results or continue to start a new endoscope leak test. Tear the printout off by pulling up against the serrated edge. Disconnect the quick connect tubing from the endoscope. The endoscope is now ready for the next step in the manual cleaning process. If the endoscope fails a second time, press continue, then press the constant air button on the keypad, and visually observe the endoscope's distal end for inflation. If the distal end of the endoscope inflates, then it can be safely submerged in water for cleaning before being sent in for repair. The endoscope must be cleaned with a continuous air flow during the entire cleaning process. The continuous air flow creates a constant internal endoscope pressure that prevents fluid from invading through the leak. Clean the endoscope as follows. Verify the constant air button remains on and the endoscope's distal tip is inflated. Submerge the endoscope in fluid and look for the air bubble leak. Hand clean according to your cleaning room protocol for handling endoscopes with leaks. Remove the endoscope from the fluid and dry. Press cancel to halt the constant air flow. Remove the endoscope from service. Contact Endoscope Repair Company to arrange for endoscope servicing. If the distal end of the endoscope does not inflate, then do not submerge the endoscope in fluid. This is an indication of a large endoscope leak. The endoscope must be hand cleaned before being sent in for repair by following these steps. Press Cancel to halt the constant airflow. 
do not submerge the endoscope in any fluids or in an automated endoscope reprocessor. Hand clean the endoscope according to your cleaning room protocol for handling endoscopes with leaks. Remove the endoscope from service. Contact an endoscope repair company to arrange for endoscope servicing. Section 7. Performing an endoscope screening test. Veriscan's screening test is an extremely accurate dry endoscope leak test which is ideal for evaluating cold or stable temperature endoscopes. The screening test is only to be used on endoscopes which have not been used within the last 30 minutes. Do not place or immerse the endoscope in any type of fluid while performing a leak test using Veriscan. Use the screening test to evaluate an endoscope that was not used on a patient within the last 30 minutes. Evaluate a facility's inventory of endoscopes. Due to Veriscan's extreme leak detection accuracy, it is recommended that all endoscopes be tested within a facility when a Veriscan unit is received for the first time. A facility can also routinely test endoscopes using the screening test to ensure ongoing early endoscope leak detection. Performing the screening test. Press the menu touchpad and the following information will display. Main menu, stored runs, quick reports and screening test. Use the up and down arrow keys to align the cursor with the screening test and then press continue. If the optional operator ID prompt is activated, the following information will display. Screening test start, enter operator ID and press continue. Enter the operator ID number, maximum four digits, using the numeric touchpads and then press continue. If the optional patient ID prompt is activated, the following information will display. Screening test start, enter patient ID, and press continue. Enter the patient ID number, maximum 10 digits, using the numeric touchpads, and then press continue. The EnterScope serial number screen will now display screening test start, enter scope serial number, and press continue. Enter the last three digits of the endoscope's ID or serial number using the numeric touchpads and then press continue. A maximum of 10 digits can be entered. The leak test will now automatically begin and the following information will be displayed. Leak test, please stand by. Note, the sound of the air pump cycling on and off will be heard during the course of the leak test. After a preset period of time, an audible tone will sound and the Veriscan will display leak test, operate knobs and buttons, continue to acknowledge, which prompts the operator to turn all of the endoscope's angulation knobs and to press all of the camera buttons. These areas of an endoscope are common fluid invasion problem spots, which can only be accurately leak tested when all of the endoscope's knobs and buttons are exercised. Turn all endoscope angulation knobs and press all camera buttons and then press continue. When the endoscope leak test completes, an audible tone is heard and the Veriscan screen displays the pass or fail test results. If a pass result is displayed, then press print to print the results or continue to start a new endoscope leak test. Tear the printout off by pulling up against the serrated edge. Disconnect the quick connect tubing from the endoscope. The endoscope is now ready for the next step in the manual cleaning process. If a fail result is displayed, then go to the section titled Testing a Failed Endoscope. Section 8 Desiccant Drying Crystals The desiccant drying crystals must be installed before leak testing an endoscope. The drying crystals ensure that only dry air is introduced into the endoscope during the leak testing. Monitoring the drying crystals. Monitor the condition of the drying crystals on a routine monthly basis. 
Replace as needed, as determined by comparing the crystals to the drying crystals color comparison chart. The crystals are blue and white in their active state. The color of the drying crystals changes as they absorb moisture. Once they are saturated, they will turn a pale pink color, which indicates they need to be replaced. Record the date checked and the result, passed or changed, using the drying crystals filter log. Loading or replacing the drying crystals. To load or replace the drying crystals, locate a new unopened crystal desiccant bag. Turn off and unplug the Veriscan system before installing the drying crystals. Carefully position the Veriscan system so the back of the unit can be easily accessed. The recommended method for installing or changing the drying crystals is to extend the last six inches of the Veriscan unit beyond the edge of the counter. Pull the metal housing release button down and hold. The release button may be located in the back. Gently pull down on the metal bulb housing and rotate until it releases down and away from the machine's bulb housing structure. Gently lower the bulb housing away from the machine. Remove the glass drying crystal bulb from the bulb housing structure by placing one hand on top of the Veriscan, grasping the glass bulb with the other hand, and pulling downward in a twisting motion until the bulb can be removed from the housing structure. Empty and discard any used drying crystals from the bulb. Open and carefully pour an entire bag of new crystals into the glass bulb. Do not allow crystals to enter the metal tube located in the center of the bulb. Return the glass bulb to its original housing by placing one hand on the top of the unit while inserting the bulb vertically up and into the bulb housing structure. Apply careful upward pressure while twisting the bulb to help it pass through the tight gasket seal and for it to seat into the bulb housing structure. Return the metal bulb housing to the Veriscan by lifting up on the metal bulb receptacle over the glass drying crystal bulb. Align the release button with the center of the bulb housing structure and lift until resistance is felt. Twist the receptacle until it clicks into place. The color comparison chart identifying the drying crystal's color change stages should be facing outwards. Ensure the metal bulb housing is securely in place by pulling down on it. The glass drying crystal bulb can become dislodged during a leak test if the metal bulb housing is not properly in place. Plug in Veriscan and turn system power back on. Section 9, Data Access and Management. Veriscan can be used as a productive tool for data management, asset tracking, equipment utilization, and infection control. Effective data management begins with the operator entering key identifying data, including endoscope serial number and the optional operator ID and patient ID. The initial entry of the endoscope serial number allows Veriscan to link all leak test results to the specific endoscope tested. This information is then displayed on a Veriscan printout and in the ProVLT Data Management Excel spreadsheet when Veriscan's leak test data is transferred to a computer. Downloading Veriscan leak tests to a computer. Veriscan includes a data download feature for transferring stored leak tests into a computer spreadsheet. Downloading is accomplished by loading the ProVLT data management software CD onto a PC computer. The ProVLT software program will automatically load when it's installed into the computer CD drive. To download Veriscan leak test data to the computer, follow these steps. Locate the USB cable and connect it to the USB port located on the back of the Veriscan unit. Connect the remaining end to an open USB port located on the computer. Verify the Veriscan system is turned on and displays the Connect Scope screen. 
On the computer, access the ProVLT file, which is located in your program files. Open the ProVLT v302 template.xlt template and save it under a new name. Start the ProVLT program by clicking on ProVLT.exe file. Once the ProVLT dialog box is open, click on Browse to locate the previously saved spreadsheet. Once Veriscan's serial number populates in the bottom left corner of the computer's dialog box, then click on Download. If the serial number does not populate, then verify the USB is connected properly between Veriscan and the computer, and then power Veriscan off and then back on. The serial number should now populate in the dialog box. After the download button is selected, the previously selected spreadsheet will open and Veriscan's leak test data will begin transferring to the computer. Veriscan will automatically output all stored runs, oldest to newest, to the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Note, there is no need to press any touchpads on Veriscan for the downloading process. Once the download is complete, the program will give you the option to delete all of the leak test files from the Veriscan unit. Deletion is not required, but Veriscan will only save up to 2200 leak tests before it begins writing over the oldest leak tests. When transferring subsequent Veriscan leak tests to the computer, they can be saved to an existing spreadsheet as long as the spreadsheet has not been modified. Subsequent leak tests can also be saved to a new spreadsheet by opening the ProVLT v302 template.xlt template and saving it under a new name. Refer to the Veriscan ProV Link Data Management User Manual for further information. Section 10 Menu Functions Additional system features and capabilities are available through the menu touchpad. Pressing the menu touchpad and using the up or down arrow keys allows an operator to scroll through these functions. While all of the functions can be accessed by an operator, the most important ones are stored runs, quick reports, screening test, and set time and date. The remaining functions are programming tools which are used by certified Veriscan system technicians and should never be accessed by an operator. When finished, pressing the Cancel button will return to previous screens. Stored Runs The Veriscan system stores up to 2200 leak tests. An operator has full access to all of the stored tests and can scroll through them if needed to confirm leak testing protocol compliance, determine reprocessing activity, or review past leak test results. Once 2200 tests have been accumulated, each successive leak test replaces the oldest of the stored tests. Accessing Stored Runs To access and review past leak tests, follow these steps. Press the Menu touchpad. The cursor will be pointing to Stored Runs. Press Continue to select this option. The cursor will be pointing to Select Run. Press Continue to view all the runs. The last leak test run will now appear at the top of the screen. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the desired leak test run, and then press Continue to view the leak test. When finished, pressing the Cancel button will return to previous screens. Quick Reports The Veriscan system allows the user to print custom reports that summarize daily, weekly, and monthly leak testing results. Additionally, a report can be generated that lists all of the endoscopes that failed a leak test within the past 30 days. Generate quick reports by following these steps. Press the menu touchpad. Press the down arrow until the cursor points to the quick report selection, 
and then press Continue to select this option. To print a summary of the current day's procedures, use the up-down arrows to select Current Day Results, and then press Continue. The printer will automatically print the current day's report for each endoscope run. To print a summary of the previous day's procedures, use the up-down arrows to select Previous Day Summary, and then press Continue. The printer will automatically print the previous day's report. To print a summary of the week's procedures, use the up-down arrows to select Previous 7-Day Summary, and then press Continue. The printer will automatically print the previous 7 days report. To print a summary of the month's procedures, use the up-down arrows to select Previous 30-Day Summary, and then press Continue. The printer will automatically print the previous 30 days report. To print a summary of all of the endoscopes that have failed the leak test in the previous 30 days, use the up-down arrows to select 30-Day Failure List, and then press Continue. The printer will automatically print the 30-day failure report. Note, when finished accessing Quick Reports, pressing the Cancel button will return to previous screens. Screening Test Used during an endoscope screening test. Refer to Section 7, Performing an Endoscope Screening Test, for further information. Set Date, Time Refer to Section 3, Installation and Setup, for further instructions on setting Veriscan's date and time. Refer to the Veriscan User Manual for further information on the menu functions. Section 11, Maintenance and Questions. The Veriscan system was designed to deliver consistent and reliable leak testing performance. There are no user serviceable parts in Veriscan, and only a Veriscan certified technician is authorized to replace any internal components. Removing Veriscan's outer case will void the product warranty. For service or service related questions, contact Medivator's technical support at 1 800 444 4729 or your authorized Medivator's distributor. Veriscan requires a minimal amount of regular maintenance and care to keep the unit in excellent operating condition. The maintenance areas and frequency of checking are as follows. Daily Quality Assurance Test To verify proper Veriscan operation, the quality assurance test must be performed prior to the first use of the day. This test ensures the internal integrity of the Veriscan unit and its ability to properly sense an endoscope leak. Refer to Section 4, Daily Startup, for further information on performing the Daily Quality Assurance Test. Always record the Daily Quality Assurance Pass or Fail Test Result using the Daily Quality Assurance Log. Desiccant Drying Crystals Monitor the condition of the drying crystals on a monthly basis. Replace as needed as determined by comparing the crystals to the Drying Crystals Color Comparison Chart. Refer to Section 8, Desiccant Drying Crystals, for further information on monitoring, loading, and replacing the drying crystals. Always record the date checked and the result passed or changed using the filter log. Quick Connect Tubing Inspect daily. Never use tubing which is questionable or suspect. Only use Quick Connect Tubing which has been visually inspected and verified to be good. O-ring lubrication in Quick Connect Tubing. Monitor on a daily basis. Lubricate weekly or sooner if the O-ring is dry. Always ensure a small amount of silicone oil is present on the O-ring. Printer paper. Monitor weekly and replace as required. Refer to Section 3, Installation and Setup, for further instructions on loading or replacing the printer paper. Cleaning the Veriscan System Clean daily. Use a soft cloth, no alcohol, to wipe down the unit and quick connect tubing. Coalescent Oil and Particle Filter 
monitor the condition of the coalescent filter for oil and particulates on a monthly basis. Replace once yearly or more if needed. Changing the coalescent oil and particulate removal filter. Before pressurizing the endoscope, the incoming air must first be filtered. Veriscan filters the air through the coalescent filter, which is an oil and particulate removal filter. This filtration system ensures that only filtered air enters the endoscope. This filter should be monitored monthly and changed once a year or more if needed. To replace the coalescent filter, follow these steps. Turn off and unplug the Veriscan system. Unscrew the clear plastic bowl from the filter housing until free. Set the bowl aside. Remove the filter element from the filter housing by unscrewing it until free. Discard the used filter. Take a new filter element and screw it into the filter housing until tight. Replace the clear plastic bowl by screwing it back into the filter housing until tight. Plug in Veriscan and turn system power back on. Record the date of the filter change using the filter log. If Veriscan fails to function, or if you have any questions, contact Medivator's technical support at 1-800-444-4729 or your authorized Medivator's distributor. Your Medivator's sales consultant, clinical support specialist, or field service engineer may be contacted by calling 1-800-444-4729 or by visiting our website at www.mintech.com slash Medivators. Medivators professionals are available to provide in-service and training on all of Medivators products. Medivators, endoscope reprocessing the way it should be.